Here we go. <laughs> what is a road? Contrary to popular belief, most roads that stand on on our roads, they're found in our heads, or specifically in our mind, or in this case, in our um, The importance of <coughs> self belief and self confidence is often underestimated and thus not much attention is given to it. Um, so I'm going to tell you about how I managed to channel my inner self-belief to not only impress someone, but to also better my grade. <laughs> um, let me tell you guys a story about someone called Daisy. Um, Daisy is this person who is very attractive, and as such, everyone is drawn to her. However, it is so obvious that no one had the courage to approach her. For some reason, she she had this aura about her that reflected the like she's she'd scare you off in as much as she'd attract you to her. She was so smart and so confident that no one dared to come to her or approach her for it, for fear of being rejected. And she was this girl who is very smart, intelligent. She she actually had leadership roles in school, and she was also very focused. And most guys would dare you to use her as an example to dare you to test your courage. Um, so there's, I'll tell uh, enough about Daisy. I'll tell you guys about Martin. Um, <laughs> I'm a very interesting person. Uh, most time when I'm asked to describe myself, I'll describe myself as interesting. This allows for a wide, it allows the person asking me to have greater possibilities of deciding what kind of a person I am. I want to decide for them before I am. So that's why I tell them I'm interested. So yes, as you, as everyone else, I found Daisy attractive. Um, but I also lacked the confidence to approach Daisy. But I, I needed to approach her. Like I made it my personal goal to approach her. Um, so I, I was pretty observant. I, took a look at all the guys who approached her and made their moves and failed at it. And I made a list of things not to do. <laughs> For instance, most guys who approach Daisy would plan out their conversation. And being, since Daisy is so, so smart, she would just make them hear off a bit and they forgot they forget about everything that they intended to say to her. So they get so shocked and they just stammer and start Throwing stuff on the ground with their feet just in, in show of shape. Um, so what did I do? Um, I noticed Daisy was good at French. She would actually have conversations in French and she'd go to drama festivals and music festivals, all doing this in French. I was in a French class and I was failing it. I didn't like French to be honest. But Daisy was the reason I started taking French seriously. <laughs> I actually joined the French club and it improved my participation in class. I managed to take French more seriously and my grade started coming up for a particular reason. I'd even used French as an avenue to approach Daisy to have conversations with her and to chat with her just to improve my French but also to get to know her. So at this, I was getting this sense of a win-win situation whereby I was managing to improve my grades at the same time, impressing this guy. Um, when when the time when the when the time for the final exams came, even my teacher was so shocked with how much improvements I made in my class. She wondered what motivated me, and she was made aware that my grades were such that if you drew a graph, my grades were it formed a V. It was down, 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 and at some point, it just started going up. No one knew the reason why. Not even my parents knew it. Not even my friends knew it. But I knew Daisy was the reason. <laughs> it's a pretty weird way to seek motivation to improve in something, but whatever works, works, right? So I ended up having conversations with Daisy more frequently, and we became friends. She managed to lower her boundaries, and she welcomed me into her inner circle. And just after the exams ended, I got the courage to ask her out on a lunch date. She was like, we, which in French, we means yes. And 
<laughs> I'm going to need to get back to the dorms to tell everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and the moment I came back to the dorm, I found everyone waiting for me, like two separate lines for me. So that everyone knew I was about to ask her out on a date and told her. So the moment I walked into the dorm, they all asked me, how did it look? They told them yes. She said yes to my proposal. And they all carried me. <laughs> <laughs> I want a trophy, but I'm like, guys, this is just for a start. <laughs> That's my inspiration. Um, in summary, I'd like to tell you guys, with the right motivation to do anything and trusting in your abilities to achieve anything, you can be able to achieve even the most impossible things. Um, often, no matter how much you prepare for anything, like for this speech or anything else, you'll never get to 100%. You need to have a little bit of faith that things will go your way and you'll actually meet it. Um, having said that, I'd like to tell you guys to keep focused. Your next date might be a German or Spanish class away. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>